G'day, I'm Jason. Welcome back to Streetcar Culture's YouTube channel. Today I'm with lifetime friend Max. Uh, I met Max, oh, basically, I would have been what, 16, 17 yeah, years old? You're pretty young before your license. Getting into rotaries and doing the old uh, rotary forum thing, asking stupid questions. And, like we all do. And then, um, yeah, we met up and went on a few cruises and whatnot, so I've known him forever. But um, today, he's got his beautiful 1976 180B Triple S. Um, so Triple S, I guess, is a two-door. Yeah, it which is. Which you sort of mentioned before. But this car is absolutely stunning. So if you're excited about this episode, be sure to uh, like and subscribe. It really goes a long way. But, um, but yeah, tell me a bit about your car. Let's get into it. Uh, so yeah, it's a, as Jason said, it's a 1976 Datsun uh, 180B Triple S. Um, this was built about 10, 12 years ago by a guy in Adelaide. Uh, he's done a pretty good job of it. The, this is probably one of the last of the series, well it is one of the last of the series, so uh, 76 being the last year they were built. Um, it's, I guess it's had a resto, but it's also a bit of a resto mod as well, so with you know genuine Japanese three-piece wheels, and the mirrors, and a couple of bits of badges and bits and pieces. Um, the interior is a little bit different, with you know minus the headrest, just to make it a little bit cooler, and bits and pieces. But apart from that, it drives nice. It's still an L18, so it's still a 1.8 four-cylinder. It's got twin SUs on it. Um, the original gearbox, so dog leg first, which takes a little bit to get used to. Um, but yeah, apart from that, you know, it's it's quite a neat little car. Comes along nicely. It's a cruiser. It's definitely not a powerhouse. You know, it's a, only probably about 110 horsepower type of thing. But yeah, it's a it's a nice little car to be able to wind down all four windows and, and go for a bit of a drive. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's go for a bit of a look. So, uh, when the car was built in Australia, they didn't come out with the guard mirrors. So, as cool as they look, they aren't really good for looking out of. So that's a bit of an addition. Uh, everything, everything on the car that you see, pretty much everything is the original that we, the car had. So I'm the third owner of this. And it's got just a couple little touches like the, the Japanese Automobile Club badge on it. All the badges have been redone, chrome's been redone, um, wheels have been done. I was lucky enough to recently get a new set of center caps for the wheels, which are, we had to adapt because you can't get the correct size for them anymore. Some little things are being changed, like the sill molds for this year, they're supposed to have a plastic cap on the ends, but you know, the nicer ones are all stainless steel instead, so it's got the earlier mold, the molds on it. Badges are being done. Um, interior, we can have a bit of a look in the interior. That's absolutely beautiful. beautiful. So the yeah, the original door trims and the original roof lining as well. The door trims have been recolored. That's the original dash in it. Um, the seat from factory had a, a linen front, but it's impossible to find that material. So you know, it's been done with a nice little velour. Stuff like these rear, rear rear indicators, they're not an Australian edition. Australia got a, just a grey blanking plate. Um, across the back is pretty typical of a, a 180B. Obviously this is a coupe. Um, if I get the chance, I'm trying to find a Japanese tail lights, but they're pretty rare these days. They if any of our viewers uh, got hold of a... Get yeah, hold of a if anybody's got some... JDM tail lights and garnish, uh, hit me up because I'd be pretty interested in those. <laughs> um, when when we bought the car, it had it had a, it, look it had a really nice Nardi steering wheel, Timber steering wheel, but I just didn't think it really fit with a car. You know, it's got a bit of sort of walnut fake timber in it, but I sourced that. Um, got that sent over. It's just little things, we've done a couple little things like cleaned up a couple bits and pieces. Um, stuff like the original headlights were, were pretty atrocious for driving <laughs> at night. So to keep in theme with, with the car itself, uh, when I found a set I went, of, I went to walk out the back to get it to uh, Mazda pop up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not normal bonnet. Um, Kyoto headlights which are sealed beams, so still like a, a JDM headlight. But with slightly better globes in it. Absolutely beautiful. Everything's been done, so it had a nut and bolt resto, full bare shell. Um, I, I really can't take the credit for the, for the build. Shane in Adelaide has, has done a remarkable job. 
being a 76, technically it's supposed to have a, a single downdraft Nikki on it, but we're stuck with a sort of traditional SUs, as painful and finicky as they can be, but it sort of fits with the car. Um, but yeah, everything's been done, so it's, whether or not it's been plated, replated, polished, rebuilt or whatever, from front to back, there's, there's really nothing that I've, I've had to really tend to. Yeah, I reckon uh, it's a, an absolutely beautiful car, but I reckon uh, we go for a drive and then yeah, absolutely. find a spot and do some cinematics. Go for, a, go for a little bit of a cruise. I reckon we uh, get the old SUs. Humming a little bit? Humming a little bit. I will try. <laughs> 100 horsepower doesn't get you too fast. All right, let, let's uh, set up and jump in the car. No problems.